What is going on everyone? Welcome to Detail Projects. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite tire dressings, and that is the Car Pearl Pearl. So Car Pearl Pearl is a water-based dressing that is a UV protectant, and it also has some um, water repellency capabilities as well. Um, it's a very durable uh, dressing. Uh, I've tried many, and I must say that this is probably my preferred one so far. And so today we're going to be taking a look at all the uses, what you guys can use it for. And um, in front of us, we have three different dilution ratios that the manufacturer recommends. Uh, my apologies, I don't have the actual 16 ounce uh, pearl bottle because I dumped it into my IK sprayer and I diluted it one to one because that's the only way that I use it personally. But I have also have all the dilution ratios recommended. So in front of us, we have one to one, three to one and five to one. And so one to one is going to be for our uh, tires and rubber. Three to one is going to be for our exterior trims and our plastics in our engine bay. And the five to one is for our interior vinyl uh, plastics and leather. So today we're going to be taking a look and demonstrating. Uh, I'm going to be demonstrating in one of my vehicles um, all three dilution ratios just so you guys get a visual of what works best for you because really it's really personal preference um, and uh, make a decision uh, you know based on your your taste all right so let's get started with the demo all right guys so we're in the demo part of the video so let's see what we're going to be working with so starting off um, we're going to be working with my engine bay of my truck so i did an engine bay cleanup a couple months ago and um just for today's the purpose of today's video, I just went over the this uh, uh, plastic cover and I cleaned it thoroughly. Uh, just so we can apply the uh, car pearl, pearl and see the differences. So as you see, I have it taped off, and we're starting with uh, we're gonna do a one to one dilution, the three to one dilution, then the five to one, and then we're gonna leave this natural just for you guys to get a visual. Now. Typically, the only reason I would use a dressing for your engine bay, if I'm being honest, is and specifically the Car Pro Pearl, is because of the water repellency capabilities. I'm not going to use it for the UV protection because your bay is always closed. There's no UVs going into your engine, so that defeats the whole purpose. However, the water repellency uh, capabilities and properties that the uh, Car Pro Pearl has. Um, helps you make it easier for you to clean up your engine bay. So it repels dust and water a lot easier than any other traditional water-based dressing because I've had previous ones that all it would do is collect dust in the engine and make it look worse. So usually previously, I wouldn't put anything in my engine bay. I'll just leave it the way it looks now and that is all natural. But because like I said, the water repellency helps keep the engine bay cleaner, that is the only reason I would use it in an engine bay. So having said that, that is the first demo we're gonna go with. Then we're gonna move on to uh, the tires. All right, so moving on, we're gonna be testing it on one of these uh, tires. And this has been cleaned with uh, Brink Buster. So again, I have it taped off. We're gonna be comparing one to one, three to one, and five to one. All right, moving on to the next uh, project here will be the interior panel. And uh, again, I have taped it off. We're gonna be one to one, three to one, and five to one dilution ratios. And uh, this panel, I just cleaned it with uh, PNS Express, diluted one to one. All right, and final, I have this uh, very weathered uh, trim piece here. As you see, it has seen some better days. And again, we're gonna be doing on the exterior trim, it's recommended three to one, but we're gonna be doing one to one, three to one, and five to one again, just so you guys can see the difference and what would work for you. So having said that, let's get started with the first project. And I'm gonna use the other end of this applicator for the five to one.
because this product is uh, usually runny when you dilute it, if you don't like working with a microfiber, or sorry, an applicator, um, you can also use a microfiber rag and uh, spray it into here and uh, add it to your, apply it to the, the surface. <laughs> So the reason I didn't uh, put Carper Pearl on the truck today is because on my uh, about a couple weeks ago I did a routine wash and I have a video for that as well um, and we dressed these tires with Carper Pearl but today I want to show you just how easy it is to maintain when you have dressed them with uh, such dressing. So without much pressure I'm just using an IK sprayer um, I just want to show you guys the water repellency I was talking about and how easy all the dust just comes off and the tire just remains black again. So as you see, it does last. So CarPro claims three months. I could say easily for this tire one-to-one -one, for a couple months of even winter weather conditions, I get great results. And so this is what that looks like. And since we're on this, uh, I just want to show you real quick what I only use CarPro uh, Car Pearl uh, for. So I use it on my tires one-to-one. -one. I use it on my Fender Flare plastic trim one-to-one. -one. I use it on my rubber seals one-to-one. -one. And lastly, I use it on my toner cover. So everything is one-to-one -one and that's the only thing I use it for. I try to rejuvenate these uh, Subaru mats. It's a bit touch dirty, but you see how black it is. So I use Carper Pro for that as well, one-to-one. -one. And it turned out amazing, but it is slippery as heck. So. If you're going to do that to your mats, be very careful um, getting in and out because these mats are very slippery now. However, they look great. Okay, and real quick, my preferred applicators for my uh, tires, for my truck especially, is the Adams uh, Hex applicator. Uh, I'll have the link below. Uh, this is $9 Canadian. It's really inexpensive, but it works amazing, especially on uh, larger 
uh, tire. I also use this for my tonneau cover, so it's a larger surface area, so this works great. Um, also, I picked up these, like I said, these Carper Pearl ones. Uh, they're nice for a smaller profile tire, um, and uh, they do a great job. They hold up pretty good. They have a very firm um, um, foam material. So I'll also have the link below for that if you're interested. Okay, so I guess we can start peeling off and seeing what uh, the difference is. Okay, so as you can see, the one-to-one -one is definitely a lot richer. Um, they all look glossy, um, but I'd say the five-to-one is the least glossiest, but they all look deep, just as deep. Uh, maybe not, maybe the five-to-one is less. However, one to one and three to one look about the same to me. Um, but as you see, compared to the natural look, it does emphasize it a lot. Okay, and moving to the tire, uh, I'll let you guys judge for that. Okay, so we have one to one here. That's why the tire looks naked. We got uh, three to one here, and we got five to one here. So, obviously the one to one looks the darkest. Um, three to one looks not bad actually. And five to one doesn't really look like it did too, too much. I mean, it did give it a little bit of that black, deeper black look but it's not as pronounced as the one-to-one -one or even three-to-one. But again, this is all personal preference. Okay, moving into the interior panel. Okay, so as you see, one-to-one, three-to-one, five-to-one. Okay, and lastly, the uh, exterior trim. So as we see here, one to one, three to one, and five to one. So on this heavily oxidized uh, trim, it looks like uh, we could probably either go a couple passes between just to make it more even because it doesn't look that even. Um, however, my personal opinion would be to uh, uh, use a trim restore for something this damaged this, yeah, at this age especially. Okay, so that's gonna be a wrap for this video. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for you. Um, and uh, as always, like, subscribe, and we're gonna catch you on the next one. Talk to you later.